And there you have it. <laughs> yes. Want to know? Like I told y'all, we're going to beat the Shithawks. We got their number. Every time we play them, we're going to whoop their motherfucking ass. It don't matter where or when. The Shithawks cannot beat us. You want to spend money on that defense and not take care of your $87 million quarterback? Shit like that is going to happen. You got to be smart. We won. We won. We won. Now, we got a, a test next week. But I think we might pull that one out. We'll get to all that shit after all of the, all of the media hype and all of these analysts on ESPN and Fox Sports 1 get to talking about the games and what they thought was going to go down. But I am. I am shocked. I am shocked. I'm shocked at a couple of things that I've seen today. I'm shocked that the Rams play so well, but I know they're playing against a shitty-ass coach team. But I think that coach might pull some wins out of his ass this year. Um, I wasn't uh, shocked about Cam Newton. I knew he was going to come in there rusty. Um, what, what else am I? What, what, what else shocked me today? I'm shocked at the Steelers' defense not maintaining. They fall apart. They fall apart. I am shocked that the Green Bay Packers defense held it together. We held it together. Didn't give up a didn't give up a rushing touchdown or a passing touchdown. Didn't allow no points. We allowed some field goals. You know, Seattle good at doing that shit. I am also shocked at the way Kirk Cousins played, man. And I'm shocked about that Eagles defense. That was some real nigga shit they was doing out there today. That Eagles defense? Woo! <laughs> that front seven is nasty. Complete nastiness. I, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins looked like he was getting chased by the cops for 60 minutes, man. That shit was brutal. That was some brutal ass shit right there. Whew, that Eagles front seven. I mean, they lost a, um, a prize possession DB, but he'll be back. Dislocated ankle. He'll be back in a couple weeks. But, man, <sighs> Eagles might have something if they just keep their shit together. LeGarrette Blunt had a good game. Uh, Beast Mode had a good game. Decent game. Um, I thought I would see a lot more 100-yard rushing. I was shocked at Le'Veon Bell. I was shocked at David Johnson. I was shocked at the Cardinals' defense. I'm like, Tyron Matthew can't do it all by himself, Patrick Peterson. Is it me or did Patrick Peterson look like he lost a step? He was out there getting burnt by them young boys. The Detroit Lions? Whoo-wee! Jalen Rose, you might got something. You might have, you might, you might, you might have, you might have spoke on something, man, because just watching how they played, man. <sighs> They got some receivers, man, some fast little niggas out there. I was shocked about that, man. That kind of was like, wow, the Cardinals, Carson Palmer, it's time for you to throw in the towel, bruh. It's time for you to go ahead and hang up them cliques, give Bruce Arians your helmet, take the jersey off your back, and go back and sit down on the couch where the Raiders found your ass at, man. <laughs> and park it, bruh. You done. Three interceptions? Come on, bro. That's that's not good, man. Now David Johnson hurt. Ain't no telling what the Cardinals gonna do, man. I got man. I think the Rams might. Uh, I don't want to say this because my uncle is a Rams fan, and he always talking shit for no reason. I don't know why he always talks shit. Cause every time we play his fucking bullshit ass team, we always beat the shit out of them niggas. We beat shit down their legs. Every time we play the Rams, just straight beating shit down their legs. But I think, ah, I don't want to say this, man. I'm going to give the Cardinals the benefit of the doubt. It's just game one. We're going we gonna to wait until we see around week four what they looking like. But, man, I got a feeling the Rams might wind up snatching a spot from these motherfuckers in the division. The 49ers, brand new team. I thought they was going to keep up with their tradition of winning the first game. 
You know what I'm saying? They did it six, six, what, consecutive season openers or first game seasons, like in a row or whatever. I guess today wasn't a day. But I'm about to check out this um this LGBT cow tranny game with these bitch ass cowboys. I was gonna go to the gym, but something is telling me to watch it because I got Des Bryant in one of my fucking fantasy football lineups. <sighs> the name of my team is called the Dak Street Boys. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm basic. I basically, I'm basically fucking around with one of my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? He always be talking shit. He a cowboy fan. Fuck him and his team. So I'm about to watch this bullshit ass game, cook up something, and I'll check in with y'all next week. But right now we want to know, motherfucker. We want to know. Go, Pat. Go.